The mysterious kingdom of Lumina was a place that existed between two opposite realms, light and darkness, day butterflies and night butterflies. In the morning light, the day butterflies devoted all their efforts to building and cultivating flowers and grass. With each blooming flower, pollen was produced, nourishing not only the day butterflies, but also preserving the exquisite beauty of Lumina. As night fell, the night butterflies emerged. They carried the noble responsibility of guarding the soul gems and protecting the kingdom from evil. Their work seemed simple and insignificant in the eyes of the day butterflies. But in reality, it was of utmost importance. They were the guardians of darkness, maintaining tranquility in the midst of silent nights. However, the day butterflies often look down upon the night butterflies. Are you done resting? Step aside and let us work. Hey, don't talk nonsense. Ignore her, Gypsy. They had to live underground while the day butterflies resided in beautiful flower houses. Night butterflies were only allowed to venture out at night and were not invited to participate in the festive celebrations of the day butterflies. Under the leadership of Queen Vanessa, the fairies diligently worked without interacting with each other. <laughs> However, on a strange day, Queen huh? Vanessa suddenly disappeared huh? and never huh? returned. What do we do now? We've been searching for Queen Vanessa for the past three months. There's no other choice. We'll have to elect a new queen. <sighs> The position of queen has always belonged to the day butterflies because they considered themselves superior to the night butterflies. We nominate Fleur, the most outstanding fairy, as the new queen. Does anyone object? I object. Don't you see how unfair this is? Night butterflies can perform just as well as day butterflies. We demand that Chipsy be allowed to run in this election alongside Fleur. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. Don't bite off more than you can chew. <laughs> Are you afraid of losing already? <laughs> but deep down, their eyes still held memories of a broken friendship. <laughs> Long ago, Gypsy and Fleur were kindred spirits, bound by an inseparable friendship. When we grow up, we will become day butterflies together. <laughs> yes, let's always be together. They trained together diligently, honing their skills as butterflies to prepare for the power assessment. Huh? However, Fleur's love for gardening made her more suited to be a day butterfly. <laughs> While Gypsy's courage and extraordinary attack magic made her a night butterfly. Huh? Huh? Oh, Fleur, I didn't know this would happen. But due to the change in job nature, the two gradually grew apart. Fleur no longer wanted to talk to Gypsy. In the end, our promise doesn't mean anything to you anymore, does it? The competition began, and in the first round, 
floor was favoured over Gypsy. Let's go. What? Harvesting pollen? That's Fleur's job. She'd definitely do it better than me. If you don't want to compete anymore, then quit. With the exquisite skills of a day butterfly, <laughs> Fleur effortlessly huh? harvested a lot of pollen, while Gypsy clumsily struggled huh? and couldn't keep up yeah. with Fleur's speed. So angry! Ah! Suddenly, a male huh? demon king appeared in the desolate hills. Huh? Hello, little girl. Are you facing any difficulties? A demon? Stay away from me! I won't hesitate to strike you! Come on, I can really help you. Do you want to win or lose? Huh? Go away! I don't need your help! <laughs> With her unwavering integrity, Gypsy refused the Demon <laughs> King and accepted defeat against Fleur in the first round. <laughs> In the second round of the competition, Fleur and Gypsy were required to defeat a swamp monster living near the kingdom. Gypsy skillfully used her enchanting magic to easily defeat the creature, while Fleur, filled with fear, hid behind a bush. She was naturally timid, only interested in gardening and beauty, so she reluctantly accepted her defeat in anything related to fighting. Seems like you're still as timid as before, huh? <laughs> you will lose anyway. A butterfly of the night is not worthy of being a queen. <laughs> well, with that kind of attitude, don't blame me. <laughs> Their fate was decided in the final round. However, the organizers once again showed favoritism towards Fleur. <sighs> In this round, both of you will search for the legendary Rainbow Beehive. It only appears at night in a secret location. That sounds quite unfair. The daytime fairies are already familiar with the forest territory due to their frequent trading and socializing. <laughs> As I said before, if you don't want to compete, then quit. It's alright everyone, I will definitely find the Rainbow Beehive. How can you find it? You don't even know where it is. Bye-bye. Huh? <laughs> Fleur's confidence stemmed from her prior knowledge of the Rainbow Beehive's location. Meanwhile, Gypsy felt neglected, huh? filled with anger and despair. <sighs> In a moment of lost hope, the Demon King appeared. So, do you want to win now? Stay huh? away! By this point, does integrity still matter? Don't you want to change the fate of the night butterflies? Huh? Uh? You're a brave fairy, Gypsy. And I know that only you deserve to be the queen. <laughs> Alright, just tell me. The plan is like this. I will magically take you directly to the location of the Rainbow Beehive without the need to search for it. <laughs> As for you, just call upon your fellow night butterflies to hinder Fleur. <laughs> Gypsy huh? found herself in an endless green meadow in the huh? sky. It turned out to be an invisible garden. Huh? <laughs> Gypsy gently picked up the beehive, her heart filled with joy and excitement. She returned with the hive, unaware of the dreadful event huh? that had occurred. <laughs> While the night butterflies were obstructing Fleur, the sacred altar containing the soul gems was left unguarded, 
allowing the male demon king to sneak in. Ha 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 ha! You have fallen into my trap. It is I, Vanessa. Huh? According to the rules, the beautiful queen could not exceed 45 years old. So, as Queen Vanessa's term was ending, she feared losing her power and studied dark magic to <laughs> regain her youth. <laughs> However, Due to her lack of mastery in dark magic, during her training, Vanessa became corrupted and transformed into the Demon King. He changed and became obsessed with dark magic, seeking to dominate the world and seize the soul gems of the Kingdom of Lumina. Oh, Supreme Soul Gems, grant me the power to control these fairies. I won't let you get away with this! Capture her! With the invincible power of the Rainbow Honey, Gypsy successfully subdued Fleur and brought her to the altar of the Soul Gems. It's all my fault. I miss you so much. I just wish things could go back to how they were. Gypsy's pure tear, filled with genuine love, possessed extraordinary power. It submerged Fleur in pure affection between soulmates and resolved the misunderstanding. Gypsy, what happened? Fleur, I'm so sorry. In their warm embrace, Gypsy and Fleur resolved their past conflicts. It turned out that Fleur stopped talking to Gypsy because she saw Gypsy growing closer to Lily. Those day butterflies are so arrogant and domineering, especially that little Fleur. I hate them. Huh? Fleur had run away without knowing that Gypsy huh? defended her and scolded Lily for speaking <gasps> nonsense. The childish mm. conflicts were completely resolved. <laughs> And Gypsy and Fleur huh? realized that friendship and <laughs> unity were the most important things. Mm? Mm. To defeat the power of the soul gems, we need a weapon crafted from the wings of the strongest and most determined female fairies. I understand now. Help me detach my wings. No! You'll lose all your power. Everything will be fine. Promise me that you'll bring peace to this kingdom. I'm so sorry, Gypsy. Fleur, live the rest of your life in a good way. Gypsy, please, wake up, please. Fleur's heart was filled with excruciating pain. She had reached her limit. Gypsy's sacrifice couldn't be in vain. Fleur cast away her cowardice. I will definitely defeat him. Fleur returned with the twin swords, ready for the final battle. and love for Gypsy and the kingdom. How brave you are! We'll see about that. This place! I will not tolerate any more darkness! Yeah! The decisive strike mm. from Fleur carried mm. the power huh? and light of bravery. <laughs> the Demon King was completely defeated. 
The fairies awakened from the manipulation. They gathered at the altar of the soul gems. <laughs> Everyone was deeply saddened by the departure of a brave soul. Together, they infused energy into the broken wings. The light from the wings shone brightly, full of hope. Fleur quickly reattached the wings to Gypsy's body, and she was revived. Huh? Everyone's here. Did we win? Yes, we won. Thank you, Gypsy. From now on, you're not allowed to abandon me anymore. Gypsy and Fleur huh? became co-queens, mm. ruling over the <laughs> butterfly realm. A just society was established, encouraging everyone to unleash their power and talents. Don't forget to subscribe mm. to Woa Fairy Tale for more wonderful and touching stories. Now let's leave a comment with your thoughts. <laughs> Look! The little fairy has just transformed into a beautiful fairy full of power! If you want to know how she dealt with the evil demons, follow Woa Fairy Tales now! Once upon a time, in a valley far far away from humans, lived a community of fairies. In this place, every little fairy, when they reach a certain age, will have a magical creature appear to protect them and give them power. That day was a special day, a day that the entire fairy community had been waiting for. Oh, I am really looking forward to the birth of the little fairy. That's right, this event only happens once every 1,000 years. The little fairy, when born, is sure to have a lot of power. Not only that, she also possesses the strongest magical creature. Oh, how exciting! The moment the flower bloomed, the entire fairy community eagerly awaited the birth of the little fairy. Everyone, including the flower queen, gathered around the flower and watched as it slowly bloomed, revealing a beautiful little fairy born into the world. My dear little fairy, I will call you Fanny from now on. Fanny grew up with the love and high expectations of the entire fairy community. Then, she turned 18. She stood next to the mystical flower, and everyone eagerly awaited the arrival of her magical creature. However, strangely enough, the mystical flower did not glow and no magical creature appeared by her side. Everyone was disappointed, and Fanny was also saddened by this turn of events. While her peers were using their magical creatures to help the development of the fairy community, Fanny, with her limited strength, could do nothing for the beautiful valley. Feeling powerless, Fanny became sad and went to sit by the stream to take a deep breath. Fortunately, in the Fairy Valley, there was a small dragon named Kelly, a descendant of the dragon community. Kelly, who had not yet grown into a mighty dragon, also fell into a lonely situation like Fanny. The two of them became friends and spent their days together to alleviate their loneliness. All hopes for Fanny's powers were gone. Fanny has not been able to unlock her powers. I am really worried that one day the Dark Tribe will come back to attack us and we will not be able to defend ourselves. As feared, the Dark Tribe eventually arrived and launched an attack on the Fairy Valley. They captured many young fairies and their magical creatures to increase the strength of their Dark King and conquer the world. Fanny, you must quickly flee from here. You are the last hope of our entire community. Because you do not have any powers yet, the Demon King may not pay attention to you for now. What should I do to save everyone? You must quickly go to the highest mountain and find the Golden Compass, a precious treasure of our fairy community. When the compass turns, the demons will return to where they belong and we will be safe, but be very careful, 
as the demon soldiers are everywhere. Fanny listened to the Flower Queen's words, wiped away her tears, and ran as fast as she could out of the Fairy Valley. My god! Huh? You're running too fast for a little girl! Did you forget to wait for me? Let me help you protect the Fairy Valley! Thank you for always being here with me. As they were journeying together, they were stopped by the demon soldiers, who were eager to attack them. In the face of danger, Fanny quickly came up with a plan. She threw a long vine up into the air and signaled to Callie, who caught the vine in his claws and flew around, tightly binding the demon soldiers together. After successfully binding them, Fanny and Kelly quickly ran forward, continuing their journey. They kept going and going until they finally reached the mountain. Fanny disregarded the danger and climbed up the mountain. However, as she was climbing, the demon soldiers got up to her and tried to stop her progress. Kelly flew to her aid, but his wing was caught by the demons painfully. Seeing her friend in danger, Fanny acted without hesitation and jumped out to push the demon soldiers away from Kelly. After saving Kelly, Fanny lost her balance and fell straight down the mountain. As she was about to hit the ground, Kelly spread his wings and flapped them wildly, managing to catch Fanny and lift them both up to the top of the mountain. As they reached the top of the mountain, both of them were breathing heavily and looked at each other with relief and joy that they had just escaped death. As they quickly entered the cave, they were enveloped by a cloud of poisonous smoke that made it difficult for them to breathe, causing them to collapse on the ground. Amidst the poisonous smoke, the demon soldiers intermittently appeared and disappeared, trying to attack Fanny and Kelly. Despite struggling to breathe, Kelly the small dragon tried his best to protect Fanny. He attacked the demon soldiers with his tail and wings, causing the smoke and the demons to flee. To activate the power of the compass, you must sacrifice the most important thing in your life. Remember this. Fanny didn't understand the meaning behind the voice, but the little dragon's face suddenly had a thoughtful expression. We must quickly return to the fairy valley! The tribe needs us! As they returned home, Fanny was heartbroken to see the devastation and ruins everywhere. Her beloved flower queen was weak and lying at the feet of the demon king. Fanny, filled with anger, rushed forward to fight the demon king, but was thrown back with a single stab of his hand. Not going to give up, Fanny continued to fight but was severely wounded by the demon king. As he was smirking and prepared to deliver the final blow, Kelly flew in and caught her before falling to the ground. <laughs> Look at this two little friends protecting each other. How touching. Shall I send one of them ahead or let them both go together on their journey? If you're so brave, come after me! Don't you dare touch my friend again, you evil creature! After speaking, Fanny struggled, holding the golden compass on her hand and hurried over to Callie, embracing him tightly. Fanny, do you remember the echoing voice in the cave? So good that I am the most important thing to you. I am happy to have been able to help you. No, Callie, you can't leave me. If possible, I am willing to lie down and take your place. In that moment, the golden compass glowed and spun around, enveloping Fanny in a powerful energy. She transformed into a magnificent fairy, radiating with beauty and grace. By coincidence, the spirit animals that were previously captured by the Demon King also flew towards Fanny, adding their strength to hers. With her newfound power, Fanny flew into the sky and used her strength 
to send the demon army back to where they came from and trap them there forever. After defeating the demon king, Fanny gently got to Callie's side and embraced him tightly. Suddenly, the golden compass flew up into the air and shattered into pieces. The fragments of the compass surrounded Callie and miraculously transformed him into a mighty and powerful adult dragon. With the Demon King defeated, the fairy community could finally return to their peaceful and prosperous lives. Fanny asked the Flower Queen for permission to explore the world with Cal, starting their endless adventures together.